this one, first of all, you've got to see where the vertex is for every single angle. Oh, look, it's in the center. So these are called central angles. And if you remember what central angles are, the if this is 50, this is also 50. If this is 110, this is also 110. So all of these angles, since they're a circle, is equal to 360. So all of those angles should equal to 360. Now, um, so if I go through and it says to find DC. So if it says to find DC, what I do know about DC, because I know that these are vertical angles. So if this, these two are vertical angles, then what that means is if this is equal to 110, this is also equal to 110. So if I wanted to find CD or DC, whichever way it is, it's going to be DC plus 50 is equal to 110. So DC, if I subtract 50 from both sides, then DC is going to be 60 degrees. So I know that this little guy is 60. Now the next one it says to find is EAB. So EAB, remember this is a major arc. So if I look here at EAB, oh my goodness, look, that's a diameter. Do you see that? So since that's a diameter, that divides your circle into two equal parts. So if it divides it into two equal parts, then EAB is actually going to be 180 degrees because that's half of it. So EAB is equal to 180. Now, then it says, and it's really hard for me not to see this, but or write it down or bring attention to it. I could also, it doesn't ask me to find AB, but if that whole thing is 180, then that means that AB is actually equal to 70. And when you see little things like that, um, a lot of times it's just easy just to go ahead and just write it down. And the other thing that I also see as I'm going through this is if this is 70, do you see that these are vertical angles because they are angles that um, are across from each other? They're made from like the same line. So that would also mean that this would be equal to 70. Okay. So basically, I have all the arcs all the way around the circle. So then it says to find the measure of ACB. Now, in order to find the measure of ACB, I'm going to get a whole different color. So if I look at A, ACB, where's C? Oh, it goes all the way around here. So A, go through C, and I come back to B. Basically, I'm doing everything except for this little piece right here. So for ACB, it's basically going to be 360 minus 70 degrees. Because 360 would be the whole thing, and I want to get rid of this little piece. So if I subtracted that, that's going to be 290 degrees. So ACB is going to be 290 degrees. 290 plus 70 is 360. Then it's getting a little bit messy here. So I'm going to kind of try to get rid of some of this, but I'm going to bring back like what we know. We knew that this was 70. We also knew that this was 70. We knew that this is 60 and this is 50. It just looks a little bit neater. So if we want to do AOB, and notice that these are all arcs because of the way that it looks. So these are all arcs. So this is asking for an angle. And you can tell that because that O is on the in inside. So if we need to find A, O, B, well, that's that little piece just a little bit ago that we took away from everything. So that's just going to be 70 degrees.